If you want to edit how a link to your website looks on social media, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, first under the sales channels area, we're going to click onto online store and then it's going to bring down more options. We're going to click into preferences and then right on top, this title and meta description and then the social sharing image is what we'll be working with. So right here, this is what would pop up underneath if someone linked your site. And then you can add a description. The description may not always pop up. And then down here you have an image that you can add. It has the recommended size here of 1200 pixels wide by 628 pixels tall. And then up here it does say it helps to find how your store shows up in search engines. So it can also be helpful on search engines, but a lot of times this information will pop up if you were linking to it on let's say social media or something. And do not be like me and accidentally misspell part of it. Cause I had accidentally forgotten one of these T's in stitching. So when it would pop up, it would be misspelled. And I felt like an idiot the moment I figured that out. And a customer actually let me know that it was popping up with a typo. Now, I don't know if they knew that it was a mistake I made on my end, but I at least got it fixed then. So I'm just gonna show you in Facebook Messenger if someone were to link to my website. So now I'm on Facebook. So I just wanted to show right here. So I had typed in just that website URL and then this image and then the title here automatically popped up on its own. And then I do believe in some themes. So this one I had put a specific product link in and it still just shows that main image and that main text. That may be because my website is password protected at the moment, but I'm not quite sure. But some themes, I believe the free themes especially, are supposed to show the actual like the main image for that product here. And I want to go in the help center and just read a little bit of what Shopify says about entering this information into your Shopify backend. So I just want to say here, so for all the free themes for Shopify, when you post a link from your online store to social media, the featured image for that page is shown. These following pages will have that featured image. So product pages, collection pages, and blog posts. For pages that don't have featured images like your homepage or an about us page, the social sharing image for your online store is shown. And just again, we'll go back in Shopify. So this is the social sharing image. Now, if we go back to the help center, this is just describing how to add the social sharing image. And if you did not add a social sharing image or you don't want to add one, it's saying that Shopify will use a fallback image. So they will select basically an image for you. They will either select your header logo or in theme settings, the checkout logo. And then when it does this, it's saying it may add some padding to your image. So it may just add extra color to the sides. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple to do. I do recommend having your logo in the social sharing image section. And then up here where you have your meta description, I recommend putting what makes your site different or at least including what you sell on your website 